Meet the Johnsons. Last year, Michael and Ellie bought their first home and have now received a property tax notice. Although they're somewhat familiar with property taxes, they have some questions. How is my tax money spent? Around half of property taxes are used by the city to pay for public services, such as our police and fire departments, our libraries, road repairs, street lights, parks, pools, and more. The other half goes to provincial agencies in the regional district, such as Metro Vancouver, TransLink, BC Assessment, Municipal Finance Authority, and the Ministry of Finance to fund schools. Who sets the tax rate and what is it based on? First, the annual budget and the five-year financial plan is approved by the City Council, which determines the level of service provided to residents each year. Once all of the expenses are established, other estimated city revenues are subtracted from this amount until we arrive at the property taxes that are needed to balance the budget. In short, our city's budget requirements, minus our city's revenue, equals the total property taxes needed for the year. How do you calculate our portion of the property taxes? Property taxes are based on the assessment value provided by BC Assessment. And by law, the city cannot collect more taxes than what is needed to balance the budget. City staff must recalculate the tax rate for each type of property every year to make sure we only collect what is needed from all property owners. How do we do this? Let's assume an imaginary town has three properties and all three properties have the same assessment value of $100,000. Assuming the total taxes needed to balance the town's budget is $900, then the tax rate must be set at $900 divided by the total value of all properties, which equals $0.003, in order to collect the $900 needed for the town to operate for the year. That means each property would have to pay $100,000 times $0.003, or $300. Each property pays their share of taxes based on their assessment value. This looks simple, but what happens if the assessment values change? Okay, let's assume the following year the assessment looks like this. House number one is assessed at $150,000, house number two at $100,000, and house number three at $70,000. House number one's assessed value increased by 50%. House number two's stayed the same while house number threes decreased by 30%. In this scenario, the average new assessment value increased by $6,667, or 6.67%. If the total taxes needed to balance the town's budget are the same in year two at $900, then a new tax rate must be calculated in order to balance the budget. $900 divided by the total value of all properties, which equals $0.00281250. That means the taxes that each house pays in year two will change to $421.88 for house number one, $281.25 for house number two, and $196.87 for house number three. The town still collects the $900 needed to operate for the year, but compared to year one, each house will pay a difference of plus $121.88 for house number one, minus $18.75 for house number two, and minus $103.13 for house number three. In our example, the average assessment value increased by 6.67% in year two. Because house number two and house number three's assessment value change was less than the average, they had a tax decrease, even though the city didn't collect more in total taxes. Only house number one, with a 50% increase in assessment value, had to pay a significant increase in taxes. This is a simplified explanation of how your taxes are calculated each year. But all in all, your city council works hard to ensure that you get the right level of services, and your tax department works hard to ensure that your property taxes are billed correctly. Review the assessment notice sent to you in January of each year by BC Assessment to make sure the assessment value of your property is correct. If you disagree with the assessed value, you have until the end of January to appeal the value with BC Assessment. If you have any questions or concerns with your assessment, please contact your BC Assessment Office for clarification.